Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Bernie, film live at my first bank studio. Brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Tired of beating up on the Cardinals. Let's talk about the Rams. Until the head coach Jeff Fisher and GM Les Snead showed up, the Rams were a bad franchise. Bad personnel decisions, bad leadership, bad record, and also some bad luck, especially with injuries. Well, the leadership has dramatically improved under Fisher and Snead. The roster has obviously gotten better. Yes, there is still a lot of work to do, but the Rams went a long way in fixing that record last season by going 7-8-1, their best mark since 2006. All right, what about the bad luck? Knock on wood, but that seems to be changing too. I'll tell you about it in a moment. But just remember, if the Cardinals ever win another game, I think they will, you will receive a 40% off discount at the regular menu price items the next day at PapaJohns.com. Don't forget to enter the promo code CARDSWIN. Papa John's always donates 10% of your order price to the Siteman Cancer Center. We just need the Cardinals to win a game here soon. So we'll hook you up with that pizza. Back to the luck factor and the Rams. Most pundits believe that San Francisco and Seattle are going to slug it out for the NFC West title. And that's understandable. That's the way I see it, too. But the Rams certainly are a rising team and an increasingly dangerous team. To pull off a surprise in the NFC West, the Rams will need to score a lot more points, and they're going to have to force a lot more turnovers. The Rams will also need some luck on their side, too. And speaking of that, it has been an awfully strange time elsewhere in the NFC West. Linebacker Darrell Washington, who was one of Arizona's best players, no question. He's having off-field issues. He's suspended early in the year, and the Rams will not have to deal with Washington when they play Arizona in the regular season opener. San Francisco lost their top wide receiver, Michael Crabtree. He's their go-to guy, but he tore his Achilles tendon. He's not going to return until very late this season, if at all. Seattle gave Minnesota a number one draft pick for Percy Harvin, the dynamic wide receiver return man. But Harvin couldn't stay healthy in Minnesota, and that bad luck's followed him to the Pacific Northwest. Harvin needs surgery on his hip, and he's expected to miss at least three months. That's, and that's very optimistic. Another wide receiver in Seattle, Sidney Rice, is in Switzerland receiving special treatment on his chronically sore knee. Because of the, because of the injuries at the wide receiver position, San Francisco and Seattle, ESPN.com's Matt Williamson now rates the Rams receivers as the second best in the division behind Arizona. Now, I don't know if that assessment will pan out, but being ranked second is pretty remarkable given the Rams' past struggles at wide receiver and the inexperience of this current mix. But the Rams have added more playmakers and it is getting noticed. Of course, the Rams also must stay healthy but this team is overdue for some good luck, and it finally seems to be coming their way. That's it from the First Bank Studio. Thanks to Papa John's. Back tomorrow with more breakfast on stltoday.com.